everyone. Welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley and today I'm going to be talking about some gorgeous shimmery metallic color shifting chrome watercolor paints. And I got these for Christmas, actually just a little bit before Christmas, but they were for Christmas. And I've been painting with these nonstop since. And so these have quite a dent in them already and I have painted several things with them. So I definitely have a formed opinion on these, but I'm going to be going through what I think of these paints. I'm going to be showing you them. I did swatch these vid these videos. <laughs> I did swatch these paints already in a video. What was it? My Christmas presents haul? My Christmas haul? Art haul from Christmas? I don't know. Um, but I did go ahead and swatch these in that video. So if you want to adjust these swatches of these, it's in that haul video. But today we're going to be talking about I think I learned how to pronounce this brand, Yuli. Um, but I have two sets from this brand, but I have two sets from this brand and we're gonna dive into these. We're gonna paint with them. We're gonna talk about them and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. Um, I have been collecting metallic-y, shimmery watercolors lately and so I'm testing out several different ones and I can let you know how they compare, how they stack up to other brands and if you have a specific watercolor paint you want me to test out, please let me know in the comments because I got a comment on one of my videos, somebody wanting me to test out some really inexpensive Amazon ones and I ordered those. So if you commented that, thank you. They are on the way. Um, it's the Amazon order wasn't going to be like a two day. It's going to be here like later this month, but that video will be coming. So if you requested that it's coming. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn the camera around look at these gorgeous paints up close and see what they can do. It is a very, very cloudy day once again while I'm painting. Um, these paints shine with light, <laughs> so I will be putting the flashlight on them some, but let's go ahead and get to painting. Oh, I've been working on some butterflies. Hold on, let me, this is our video, re what is this called? Schedule, let's not look at that. Don't wanna spoil surprises here. Um, but I've been painting a bunch of butterflies for um, some commission pieces and I've been using a combination of these paints and some other ones that I have. Um, this was the other brand, so let's move that. This right here is Yuli and then this color right here is Yuli. Um, but I figured, I was working on this one last night and Oh, come on. I was working on this one last night and I haven't finished it. I was waiting for the paint to dry to do the shimmery layers. So I figured I could go ahead and use these paints on this butterfly on camera. Um, there are some shimmery paints in the flowers already and I'm going to, here, let me turn this down just a little bit. The gold right here in the in the um, leaves, that's Lilisinka. Lissalinka. I don't know why I want to put another L at the beginning. Lissalinka. And um, that video went up last week. So, um, and then there's a tiny bit on the this part of the wing that I already did, and that's a Daniel Smith paint. And it had it's supposed to be duochrome and awesome, and it's not. <laughs> so let's look and see what duochrome paints actually look like. Um, so this set is the Button Vivid set, I guess. Um, I have used these the most. I like these. There's certain colors in here I like more than others because they have a really good shift to them. Um, but I also have this Button Magical Drop set as well. And these are very cool, very unique paints. They, oh, they're still tacky. I used them last night. Um, there's a bunch of different types and finishes in this particular set. So there's some shifting paints like this, but then there's also just like glitter toppers and um, metallic, and there's a bunch of different finishes in here. So if you want to see both of these swatch, like I said, go to the Christmas haul video. But let's go ahead and start putting some chrome shifty um, and glittery goodness on this butterfly. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Let me get some clean paint because um, it's pink. <laughs> Wow, I said clean paint, but I meant clean water. So there's the clean water. Let's go ahead and, okay. So I've been using the Princeton Aqua Elite brush, long round for these like fine details. It comes to a nice long point um, and I'm really enjoying it for the butterflies. I've also been using 
um, to put these metallic paints on this script brush number two from Master's Touch. So both of these are fantastic options for doing this type of work. I gotta decide what colors I wanna do. Um, I wanna start with this set because this set is the one that, I mean, I love them both. Um, but this one, I just, I don't know, there's something about it. This purple, um, this pink is gorgeous. The greens are beautiful. Um, yeah. And then in this one, um, I like some of these glitters for topping. Um, absolutely gorgeous. They're very sheer. This though, that is a beautiful solid. These, these three right here are beautiful, solid metallic -y glitters. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any in here that I want to use. Let me just go ahead and wet the purple shades in here because we might use and let's get some pink. I don't know what I'm going to use. Let's just wet a bunch of different ones. I love the iridescent glitters. So, so pretty. So I think I want to start with this pink shade here. Whoops. Um, so I guess while I'm painting with these, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with them. Um, some of these definitely shift more than others. They're, I definitely have favorites, but they are all beautiful and they perform so well. Um, I feel like I'm going through them very quickly. And I think I'm just, I'm just using them a lot right now. Um, I mean, there is a lot of paint in here, but like I have already made like pretty big dents into these, there's still a bunch of paint on the sides, but like it go, this hole goes like all the way to the bottom of that pan. I've just been really, really enjoying these paints. So let's see. So my personal preference is to use these over other colors, but um, especially these chrome shifting ones, you can use them on their own. Um, if you want like a solid color, then you would need to layer them a couple of times, but I think they are really, really pretty on top of things. So I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom. Let's see, what do I wanna do here? And then whenever these are dry, I'm gonna like turn the paper different ways so you can kind of see the shifts and colors. Cause just looking right directly above it isn't gonna show uh, these paints off. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this purple. I think this purple is, this purple and this green, actually the, both of the greens are probably my favorites um, in this set, so. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth trying to copy what I'm doing on each side. Keeping it somewhat symmetrical. So, so far we've got this. Use the pink and the purple. Again, as it dries, you'll see more of the shifting as well. But um, let's get to these bottom wings here. And uh, actually, I wanna, well, no, that needs to dry first. <laughs> I'm very indecisive. Let's go ahead and go to this set. And I'm gonna take this color here. Now, this set has numbers for the colors. There are um, 183 through 194, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think 183 to 194. Um, but these, I don't really know if they have names or numbers. Um, there's nothing on the pans themselves. I haven't found anything, so. All right, so I am taking a different purple for the lower wings. Let's see how this one does different. This is a deeper purple. And then for the body of the butterfly, I think I want to take just a glitter topping color. So I'm going to take this top one here and I want to show you what these 
glitters look like just on top of a color. So pretty. They are nothing special. Whoops, I got some pink in that on their own. And um, like just on white paper on their own, there's not, not really much special about these, but when you put them on top of another color is when they really look gorgeous. Get it from directly above is not doing it justice. So. Okay, I feel like I want a lighter color. Okay, I'm gonna take this kind of goldy champagne metallic glitter and I'm gonna do some highlights in the wings. Just do some more lines going through here to brighten this butterfly up. I'm gonna take this to tie it into the bottom as well. All right, I feel like I want something else down here. That pink shift is really pretty. Mm. Let's see what this one looks like though. All right, so I'm gonna take this color and I'm just gonna fill in this section down here. And I hope this one's a pretty shift. I should have looked at my swatches first, but that's okay. Take, I'm gonna take this color right here. We're just gonna kind of accent what we've got going on already. And then what I wanna do next is I'm gonna take, not that brush. Oh, they're right here. I'm trying to find my brushes. Just a little round brush. And I'm gonna go into one of the greens. Actually, I'll probably do both of the greens, but I'm going to do some just extra leaves here and there. Also, just so you can see what the, um, paints look like by themselves without being under something, on top of something. Words are difficult sometimes. couple more right here. Kind of just mixing the greens together. All right, so I'm going to put a flashlight, I think, on this. and Or actually, let me let this dry because you can see it best when it's completely dry. And then um, I'll show you what these look like all shifting. All right, so here is the butterfly. Just the um, light coming through the window. Uh, it's still wet in a couple of spaces, but 
those greens I think are definitely my favorite um I don't love the butterfly just like head on um when you don't see any shine um I prefer this one more because I like the lighter color um but in this set for the chrome shifting ones there there's not like a super light one so um like I like it, but I don't love it. But the paints themselves, I do love. The greens, I think, are the standout in here. And they don't have any paint under them either. They're just the green. So, um, yeah, let's move on and do one more thing so you can see these a little bit more. Um, oh, I said I was going to show you with a flash because you can kind of see the shimmeriness more with this artificial light. So, okay, let's move on and paint something else. Okay, and I did wanna show you, these are things that I've already painted and I, I've, I, these are the swatches on black paper that, um, cause I know people are gonna, anytime I do any kind of paints like these, people are like, black paper, black paper. And um, so I have done stuff on black paper for you. I just don't personally use black paper when I'm painting much so here um, are the swatches this is the larger palette um, on black paper so some of these are glittery some of them shift and again they look best with some artificial light see that shine there um, and then here is the chrome shifting ones um, again with artificial light they are going to shine the best um, but they definitely have some of them have more shift than others but they definitely have some beautiful that pink right there look at that shift pink and the purple and then the greens i love the greens so yeah they shift they're beautiful they're shiny um, but again best under artificial lighting. So, um, oh, and here's the painting I did on black paper with just the Yuli paints only. So this is both, both palettes, but there's a lot of glittery goodness here. And I think they are, they're beautiful. So I painted this on new year's Eve I painted with my, um, mother, mother-in-law and sister-in-law, but okay. Let's see what else we can paint on white paper though. Okay, since I've been working, working on a bunch of commissioned butterflies, um, I think I wanna see a lot of them I've been painting with a wash of color and then glittery stuff over them. So I think I wanna try and just see what happens if I just use these paints. So um, this is gonna be super loose. I'm not gonna sketch it beforehand. I'm just gonna do a very loose style. Um, what color do I wanna do though? Try this green here and we'll mix in some other colors too. All right, so we're gonna start with a wing here. Nothing special all watered down, of course. <laughs> And then let's get this wing here. Right. I'm gonna do one poking out the back here. I'm gonna leave that kind of dry brushed there. See if I can layer a little bit more of this here. And then I wanna introduce another color. This one. Whew. This one shifts blue and to green, green and blue, um, 
quite beautifully. So let's see if we add this one in. And I might um, dry this and layer color too. But I also think I want to, while it's wet, add in just another, um, maybe a bit of purple. Down here. Okay, and then I'm going to get, I really liked that purple, so I'm gonna get that purple and do the body. Little head. <laughs> And antenna. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this and then um, we'll layer on some other colors and see. Okay, oops. So I'm gonna take this glitter right here because it's got a green iridescence to it. This one wasn't wet yet, so I'm trying to activate it. And this is a glitter um, kind of topper. So I'm gonna take this and go along the top of the wing. That's pretty. You really can't see it head on. It's really gorgeous though. And then this glitter on the end has kind of a purple blue iridescence. So I'm going to take it on the body of the butterfly. Now, re-wetting it and layering on top kind of lifted the color that was underneath quite a bit. So that's good to know. That didn't stay at all. So layering them as washes on top of each other, not a good idea. <laughs> Again, I'm kind of just experimenting and playing, so... Um, Yeah, you can layer them as thicker paints, but doing like light washes doesn't really work. It definitely lifts the color underneath. So good to know. Yeah, they're definitely not meant to be used as, um, you know, normal watercolors. <laughs> They have their special purposes. <laughs> Just playing to see though what I can get get out of these. But definitely the pre preferred method is for me to paint a light wash of something else underneath them and then paint on top. Or if you prefer black paper because the flowers I did on black paper looked beautiful. To experiment and see what these paints can do. And again, I'm 
somewhat new to metallics and stuff. So um, I definitely like the way these paint on top. And they definitely, hold on, here we go, shine. Um, hold on, let's, they have such a beautiful shift. If that had like a layer of color underneath it, this would be so, so pretty. So. Okay, so that is my review review of Yuli watercolors, the ones that I've tried anyways. Um, yeah, see, I got a splash of water on this and it reactivated and spread it without touching it at all. So um, definitely don't use them as washes. But I enjoy these. They're fun. The, the shifting on these is definitely the most shift that I've used so far. And... Um, I would love to know how you use your metallics and shifting paints and if you have a favorite brand, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for Yuli. I clearly do like these because I have used quite a bit of them already. Um, and I honestly, I think I'm probably gonna reserve them for accents and paintings, just adding a special touch, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this review. If you did enjoy this though, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ow, my hip popped.